Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Libra love prediction reading for May 1st through May 7th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I would be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, friendly, kind, loyal Libras. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my loving Libras? Let's see. Show me. Show me, spirit guys. Libras, let's see what you got going on. King of Wands. Six of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Ten of Pentacles. Well, you're leading off the reading with a king of wands. And the king of wands is always my husband card. Either it's a card of someone that's been together, living together. Uh, they, uh, You just had you uh, occupy each other's spaces. In other words, um, you live together. It's been a long-term relationship. And I think that you're considered leaving this king of wands um, because I see the six of swords here. And the six of swords means moving away to peace. You know, sometimes we get in relationships and we've been in them for so long that um it gets difficult and you're considering walking away from this king of wands or leaving this king of wands for peace because right now you don't have peace and when i say you don't have peace um it's just not it's it's just not peaceful right now and you you know libras you you that is one of your uh strong points you really like peace you don't like confrontations you don't like imbalances you like peace and right now you have no peace so what you're thinking is, um, let me move away from this person. You're considering a breakup with this person, but it's just not that easy because you've been loving on this person for a long time and they've been loving on you. If they're your husband, obviously you've been loving, even if you're their significant other and that you're just living with them, you've been loving on them and they've been loving on you for quite some time. And really and truly, you know, it's kind of hard to start over when it comes to that. And if, if, if you're not, if it's, if it's not abuse, or not cheating, and I don't see this as being abuse or cheating right now. I think this is just that you guys need to do something to revive the relationship. But here, you're thinking about leaving, but Libra, you're not going anywhere because here's that Eight of Swords. And that Eight of Swords um, is you feel trapped, you feel like you can't walk away because you're still in love with them. You cannot walk away. You just need to work on this relationship. Now, what's positive about this, even though you're considering leaving, you're not leaving because here's this Ten of Swords. And also, excuse me, this eight of swords, which means that you feel, you may feel trapped just because of what I said, you've been with them for so long. But the reason I know you're not going to leave because the you know, the will of fortune is here. Things are going to begin to move in your favor if you can just go through the storms. If you can just keep going, things are going to move in your favor because you also have the ten of pentacles. And the ten of pentacles means that they check all your boxes. You're just going through a rough patch right now. Stay stay the course. They check all your boxes. They do. They check all your boxes of money. Um they're good they they're a good person. Um they have um you know a home, family. You see all of that with them even if you don't have it yet. It's on its way because I have the will of fortune here which means that things are moving in your favor. There's goodness that's coming to you and this relationship. So if you can stick out, stick the course, you'll be fine. So let me, give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. Let me just clarify the reading just to see what the spirit guides, they want, what additional information the spirit guides want, to, want you to know. So I have the king of wands. I have the king of wands. Show me spirit guides. Why is this king of wands here? 
Show me why is this King of Wands here? Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have a King of Swords. I have a King of Swords. That's what the problem is. I think that you don't feel the love from them. See, because the King of Swords is very, very not excuse me, not irrational. The King of Swords is very rational. Very um, in their head rather than their heart space. And then you've got, they've got to come. This person has got to love you from their heart space. They've got to love you from their heart space. And that's what's happening right now. You don't feel the love. You don't feel the love. You feel like that they're doing their thing. You like you feel like you're two separate people. They might be your husband, and if they're not your husband, they're your significant other. But yet and still, it's like you guys are passing each other, and not under or not having the relations that you need to have to continue this relationship, keep building. The love has lost, has gone. The love has gone. But you you know you still like this person though, and I, and you do still love them, but. It's not like it used to be, it's, and, and it's just, it's a very, it's, it's in your head and not in your heart. It's just in your head and not in your heart, especially with this person. So let's see why the Six of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Swords here? Oh, I have the Five of Pentacles. You're feeling like you just don't feel worthy. You don't feel worthy because you feel like they don't pay attention to you. They don't love on you like they used to love on you. Um, you feel like that they're they're mm, that they don't they just are not giving you what you need. You feel unworthy because you're not getting that. Libra, come on, but but it's not that. It's just that things are changing and relationships go goes through changes, and you just have to stick it out. But you know, don't walk away. Don't leave it. Don't run from it because you still have love here. The love is still here. It just needs to come back so that you guys both can feel it. So here's that five of pentacles. And they love you too. They do love you. They love you too. That five of pentacles, you just feel unworthy. Only because um, you um, don't feel nurtured. You don't feel like they love you. But they do. So let's see why this eight of swords is here. Show me why the eight of swords is here, spirit guys. Oh, I have the knight of pentacles. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles for me is all about patience. It's all about patience. The Knight of Pentacles is about patience. You have to be patient. You have to be determined to meet that goal, to be with them, to stay there. You've got to be determined, but you've also got to be you've got to be patient. You got it's it's a, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy. It moves slow, but I see this relationship, and it's over this Eight of Swords. That's why I know you're not leaving. Because you're still in love with them and they're still in love with you. The love just has to shine through again. So here, the Knight of Pentacles is here. You're determined. It's over this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords means you could walk at any time, but you're not leaving because the love is still there. So let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, I got the Six of Swords again. Come on, Libra. I've got the Six of Swords again. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Whenever the Spirit Guys give you two of the same cards in the reading, that means I'm telling you exactly what they want you to know. You're still con considering walking away, but I keep telling you that if you stick the course and be patient, the Wheel of Fortune is here to bring the luck, or to bring, not luck, the, the um, things are moving in your favor. I don't even believe in luck. It's just that the universe is moving it correctly now. It's, it's beginning, your will is turning it's turning, and I think this Six of Swords here could be that you're 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 not going to walk away from them. You're just not going to walk away because you guys you're in love with them and they're in love with you. So let's see why this Ten of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit guides. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for my Libras? Well, I have the Five of Swords. <sighs> I'm going to tell you this. I think you miss them uh, greatly. And I don't think you've walked away from them yet. I really don't. Um, because it's over the Ten of Pentacles. And you know that if you do walk away, first of all, you already miss them. Because that love space is not being handled right. So you already miss them, even while you're with them. You can only imagine it if you walk away from this person. If you walk away, how you would truly miss them. How you would truly miss them. And there's that Ten of Pentacles there. You would miss 
um, the happiness, the money. You would miss all of that. They checked your boxes and they still check your boxes. You guys have just got to get it together when it comes to loving each other. I still don't see you guys breaking up. I don't see you leaving. I think that you're, there's still consideration here. I think both of you have thought about it. But I still think that you're both still in love with each other. Let's start at the beginning, King of Wands. This is someone you've been with, someone that is a husband or a significant other um, that you've been with for an extended amount of time. <clears throat> Excuse me, the King of Swords is there. And the King of Swords is that rational energy. The problem is that it's so rational, there's no love here. And when I say that there's love here, but the love is not, the heart space is not being shown to you. And that's what the problem is. And that's why you're considering walking away. But here's the five of pentacles and you feel unworthy because you don't feel like you're getting the love. You are a Libra. You don't feel like it's harmonious. You don't feel like they love you. Um, you don't feel that. You don't feel that from them right now. But here's the eight of swords. You're not going to leave because eight of swords means that you could walk at any time. But you can't walk because you're still in love with them. And I tell you, they're still in love with you. They might, it, they're still in love with you. And here's this Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is all about being patient. Being patient. And you've got to be patient. You're just going through a rough patch. And there's that will of fortune. And I mean, things will move in your favor. But see, you have the Six of Swords here because you keep waffling back and forth. You've not made a decision whether to stay or go. That's why that Six of Swords keeps coming up. But you have to make a de conscious decision. Love is a conscious decision, and you must make a conscious decision to stay with them and work through this rough patch. Because if you do go with this five of swords here, you will miss them greatly. You will miss them greatly, and they will miss you. And as soon as you walk, you're going to know that you didn't make the right decision because they check your boxes. You're just going through a rough patch. Stick it out. So let's see. Show me spirit guides. Show me spirit guides. What do you want to show me, oracles? What do you want to show me? What do my oracles say? See, and I told you that if you just stick through this, it's all going to work in your favor. It's already working, moving in your favor. You just need to make a decision to stay. And if you do, within the next few months, this relationship will have changed. The relationship will have changed. For the better. For the better. And it also says, remain positive. Remain positive. Stick in there and in the next few months, this relationship is going to change for the better. Stay positive. Put positive energy out. Keep loving them because they do love you. And it's going to come back around. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.